Lots of syringes. <laughs> Hello, as per usual, it is I, Son of a Shepherd, and today we are checking out La Dernière Don. I can't pronounce that, I am uncultured. I apologize. I think. Did I need to apologize? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> this game is about. An orphanage. A tragic event happened at an orphanage. Caused by horrific human experiments. Look at that. Oh, orphan tries to find other survivors while danger still lurks. That sounds like it's going to be scary. I've heard good things. So let's see what we have going on. <clears throat> Who is it? Yes. Someone's knocking on the door. Ooh. Alright, we're not going to be able to read any of this because I can't read French. Thank you! No, stay out! Stay out! Hold the door. Or open it. Let's go. Where'd she go? <laughs> so angry. Ooh. That's... I feel dirty. <laughs> Do I want it? No. Okay. Is there anything on the back? Oh, that eyeballs. Oh, gosh. I have a flashlight? No. I'm not fat. I can't, I can't read French. Interesting. Alrighty then. Uh, Sister Madeline. Oh, there was a lady in a chair there. Do your worst. Dear Dad, how are things over there? I hope you're doing well at the orphanage. The days are something sometimes a bit sad. Sister Madeline has been looking worried lately, and that makes us all a little worried. At school, I have as much fun as I can with my friends, but I often think of you, and I'd really like you to come back soon. Take good care of yourself, okay? I look forward to seeing you. Luis. I don't know if I was supposed to see something, but I didn't. How many days have passed? What happened here? Oof, that's gruesome. I'm sorry. I guess we're going that way. Whose head is that? Well, I want it come out. Come out. Come on! Back to the bottom. And overcooked it. Holy shit. Uh, keys are always good. Keys added to inventory. R to see items. Oh, we have a photo. I hope to see my family again after the war. I'm guessing that's what that means. Do not know. Good job. Hi. Grandma. What is that a picture of? I don't know how to feel. Someone in the window. Oh, 
I already saw you. I ain't scared of nothing. What the F is that? Hello? How many arms do you have? Like 18? It's my chop? Okay, or my choke? My champ? Whatever Pokemon that is. Damn, this is pretty intense. What the hell happened here? He has a letter in his neck or mouth. His face is, was ripped off. That's awesome. Dear Sister Madeline, I hope you are doing well despite the dark days we are going through. War is raging around us each day bringing its own share of suffering and loss, but despite it all, I persevere, driven by the hope of a better future for each and every one of us. My thoughts turn to you every day, looking forward to the day when we can finally meet again. Take care of yourself and the children who depend on your compassion and devotion. With all of my love, Pierre Lefebvre. I don't have any class. Is that what I just read? Yeah, alright. Oh, that was nice. We didn't put the paper back in his ripped off face. It's just a really bad paper cut. Ooh, we. Alright. What is that? Is that a puppy stuffed animal? I hope. It looks sad. And a leg. I like how I noticed the leg second. Ew! Ew! There's a crouch button, I haven't found it. L'entrée est bloquée. Y a-t-il des survivants? Sorry. I want to go look at whatever this growth on the wall is. <laughs> October 23rd, 1918. Things are getting weirder at the orphanage. Many of my friends have gone to get treatments and we are very few now. It's so quiet here and it scares me a little bit. Sister Madeline looks... Excuse me. What? Looks very bad these days. She's pale and tired. She says it's nothing, but I see she's in pain. I hope she gets better soon. She's our only protection here. Last night I had to take a strange medication. It made me sleepy and I started having strange things. Shadows were dancing around me and I felt like something was looking at me in the dark. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? In the dark? Dark. It was terrifying. I don't know what's going on here, journal, but I feel something very dark is happening. I hope this will all end soon. See you tomorrow, journal. Betty Duck. Betty, Betty, Betty Duck. My heart rate's not up. It's a lie. I don't like that face. Infirmary? And something else. Monster, I'm guessing. Oh, that's the face from the guy upstairs. Pierre. Pierre, your face. I found it. I don't think I could do anything with it now, though. Found a doll. A cat. Uh-oh. I see it. I see it. I see it. Albert. Vaffanculo. That was Italian. That wasn't French. <laughs> Albert's plushie added to the inventory. Do we really want to go wherever that thing just was? That nightmare of mine. Pick up. Dragonfly. Do I need it? No. Okay. Creepy atmosphere. <laughs> Let's 
secret code added to the inventory. 1897? Is that the code? Ooh, I have expected to see something in that window, but there was nothing there. Alright, there's more than 1897. There's not enough. Uh, a code. It must open something in the office that has to do with... The code is 1897. 1897. Oh. I thought I was going to have to line them up. That wasn't very difficult. Thank you for not making it complicated and making me look stupid. That's a hand. I didn't even see that before. Is that all it is? A hand? Yeah. That thing's going to rip me to shreds, whatever that thing is. That's loud. <laughs> Down we go. Hello. Man, these noises. I should probably lower this so I don't get so scared. But I guess that's half the fun. Alright. Alrighty then. Beat us. Yep, definitely had experiments happening just down here in the basement. Oh, now I'm all wet, damn it. Don't know what any of this stuff means. Creepy. Lots of syringes. Freaking jerk. Go back in. Yeah. Almost punched my monitor. <laughs> right, I got half a message here. General Henry Dubois. General Durand's headquarters, French Army. November 11th, 1918. I don't like the ring around the rosy in the background. Dear Dr. Renault, the experiments carried out at the orphanage, although controversial, controversial have brought undeniable advances in the treatment of war amputees, and for that we are deeply grateful to you. Oh, look at that. The experiments are going to a good cause. I seriously almost broke my monitor there. Alright, there's nowhere else to go. Oh, I can go up here. Oh, I can't. Oh no. Is he still alive? I hear him breathing. Ah, uh, that's not good. Avec la fin de la guerre, nous mettons fin à l'obligation d'opérer les cobayes. Vous êtes dorénavant libre de disposer des expérimentations comme vous le croyez convenable. Néanmoins, nous vous prions d'éliminer les sujets tels qu'Albert. La confidentialité de ces informations est cruciale. Content sur votre discrétion, nous vous remercions pour vos services et votre compréhension. Général Henri Dubois, Armée Française. I'm just. A... Oh my god, look at it! I don't like it! What the heck is that mouth? Punch it! Oh no. It's a plushie. How did you know to do that? Where'd the girl go with the eyes? Eyeball girl. Hi. You're really creepy. Don't touch me. I will 
I will poke your eyes out. Are we friends now? Le dernier don. Really quick, scared the shit out of me. And that's the credit. Oh, we have a photo. What's the photo? Look at that jawline, bro, on the left. <clears throat> Well, that was fun. It was very fast, but it scared me and I like being scared. <laughs> no, I don't actually hate it. I don't know why I do this to myself. But anyway, if you like that, please subscribe and we will catch you on the next one. Bam. Bye-bye.